The member for North Sydney has yeah. the call. My question is to the Prime Minister. Does the Prime Minister stand by the spending commitments and saving measures in the 2013 Labor government budget delivered just six weeks ago? The Prime Minister has the call. I thank, uh, save, it just went through the Senate. I think, I thank uh, the member for North Sydney for. The Minister uh, is warned. I thank the member for North Sydney for his question, and uh, I know his uh, deep concern for the state of our economy. Uh, we have discussed this many times privately and publicly over a long period of time. Can I say to uh, the member for North Sydney, uh, I will be discussing uh, the general state of the budget and the state of the economy, including new international the challenges such as the China resources warned. boom uh, finish. Uh, when uh, the new cabinet meets, I assume that will be early next week. Over the course of the weekend, I intend to obtain Treasury briefings to update myself on the current budgetary circumstances. That is the proper and, me and methodical way to go through important considerations, and that's what I intend to do. I would say also to the member for North Sydney uh, that I would remind him again about how strong our country's economic fundamentals are. That, therefore, therefore, when the, those opposite, as I've observed again from a distant place over the last uh, several years engage in a constant attack on the levels of debt and the levels of budget deficit in this country. Uh, frankly, uh, they've never asked, answered this very simple question. If it was so bad, why do the world's three major credit rating agencies give Australia a triple A rating? So, Member for North Sydney, answer, answer that one for me. It's uh, all three. All three global ratings agencies, Fitch, Standard & Poor's and Moody's, which are the not sub-branches of the Australian the Labor Party, on a for, uh, which do not work for the cause of international socialism, uh, these institutions separately have looked at our level of government debt, our level of budget deficit, and have judged it to be one of only eight countries in the world worthy of a AAA credit rating. So again I say to the member for North Sydney, as he seeks to drill in on questions of the budget and budget integrity. Uh, how does he answer that proposition? I put it to him once in a television debate, and all I heard was a bit of spluttering at the other end. It's still we haven't had an answer to that simple proposition because it's not us saying it, it's the International Credit Agency saying it. And the reason for it is that it is true. The finances of this country are in first-class working order, and he knows it.